welcome to Melanin Sims 2000's Not So Very Update. Yes, I said update because I've decided that with everything else I have going on, so I do work, I volunteer, I have other things that I'm doing, uh, I actually want to play <laughs> like this and other things that I have, that I'm going to do updates from now on so it won't be weekly. It might be if something significant happens and I want to um, to um, show, you know, just give you guys an update, but I'm not going to commit myself to like weekly videos because that just got to be way too much. However, as you can see from the pictures, Pepper and Paolo got married. Um, they, I didn't get too many pictures of the babies and the toddlers, but you did see some. So you see that they had twins. It was um, Rosewood Carmar Camargo and um, Aubrey Camargo. And if you stay um, up to date with my Instagram, you'll see that um, I showed pictures of them and the things that they were doing. So um, this wouldn't be a surprise to you. And it also, they adopted a dog. It's supposed to be a husky, um, but I have a husky. And Noodle, <laughs> I don't know if he looks like a husky. He's outside right now. I don't know what he's doing. But this is Noodle, the family dog. I can't remember what his, um. actually I can look here and see what his attributes are. Oh, there they are. He is a s sleuth, adventurous, and a couch potato. And he definitely is a couch potato because he is always on the couch. Um, I think I might have a picture. If I do, I'll kind of sneak it in to the video. All right, so let's see. Well, first, as you can but if you remember the last video, you'll see that the house is bigger because I had to expand because there was no room. It was a really small house. And so here we have the whole house. So the living room is still here. I expanded the kitchen. So that's a lot bigger. Um, this, this stayed the same. The bathroom stayed the same. Their room stayed the same. But I went ahead and added this hallway. So you have to go from the living room kitchen area into the hallway to get to the parents' bathroom, which I probably should have changed it to where only they can go in there, but it's fine. Uh, and then into their bedroom. And then you have to actually come to through the kitchen to this hallway to get to, um, oh, sorry. And this way, also the hallway, this is the doorway into Aubrey's room. And then if you were on Instagram, you also saw, I put the walls up. You also saw pictures of her room. This is Aubrey's room. That's a picture she did the first day of school. And then um, you come through the kitchen into the second hallway. And that's how you get into Rosewood's room. And so I was, I was trying to think what to name him because, you know, he is Generation 2. And he... Um, you know, it's supposed to show Rose in some way. So his clothes, I tried to put Rose. And I was like, what kind of name can you give a boy? And so I don't know if any of you watched that show, Rosewood, with Morris Chestnut in it. Um, but that's his name, Rosewood. And they call him Rosie. So that's what we're going to do because it works. I like it and it's cute. So I tried to give, I mean, this is kind of red, but I don't really care. It's really hard to find a rose color that wasn't like, to me, pink. So, um, that's just what his room is. So his room, let me cut the lights on, uh, turn on all lights. So his room is green and then has that little red color. So that's going to be the representation of him for now as a kid. And then that same hallway, you come out here through the door and there's a little trash can over here. And then this is kind of sitting area. So if you remember, um, Paulo, which we'll talk about is a, uh, Mixo he's in the mixology uh, career. He's a mixologist. So 
I went ahead and all oh, he had like a bar in this in this seating area. But now he has his little bar, a nice little outside area where people can congregate, and then a nice little grill to cook and serve. And if you look at the pictures, this is kind of where everybody was congregated outside for the twins' birthday in two um, toddlers. So and then back here, um, I just put this little jungle gym to play on, and they played on it a couple of times. I think I. I think I have a picture of that too um, that I probably showed in the beginning. So if I did, then great. If I didn't, oops. Um, but yeah, so this is the house. And so I guess to get into the details. So here we have the rules for Generation 1 Mint and where we are at. So we have completed levels 1, 2, and 3 of the complete chief of mischief aspiration for pepper so we have one more to go we have to master the scientist career and we're on level nine and we have to master the mischief skill we're on level nine again master the logic skill we're on level eight so almost there and complete the elements collection we are 13 out of 15 these last two, I have to do some research because I have no freaking clue where to find them. I have a suspicion that I might have to go to um, Sixum to find them. I'm not sure, but uh, we'll see. So this is where we are with Pepper. And so here... Where where is she? Oh, she's in the shower. Oh no, she's clean. Oh, she what is she doing? Cleaning. Yeah, okay. So she's cleaning the shower. She's still in her work clothes. Um, so as we said, you know, here we just have to actually we're almost there. We just need to level up our mischief skill one more and we will have completed our aspirations. So that's pretty close. And we'll see where we're at. Oh shoot. Oh, we need to just go ahead and do this now. Yeah, she's at 96%. Yeah, so that's close. Um, so for her work, we're level 9. We're the mad scientist. Her schedule pretty much stayed the same, 10 to 7. And But she needs to have one more breakthrough. And I apologize if you hear noises in the background. My dog decided that he, my husky, my husky mix, he's half husky, half American Bulldog, um, decided he wanted to eat his food when I started recording. Uh, so skills here we see that she, you know, her cooking is pretty high. Gardening's level five. She still has her garden. We actually decided to hire a gardener. Where is it at? Oh, it's in the front. Yeah, because she just can't keep up with this thing, and I kept forgetting about it for days. These empty spots are stuff that um that rotted. So yeah, we just hired a gardener. And there's her logic. So she has a little bit to go. Oh, her parenting is level seven. So we're pretty good on that one. Um, she has a pet training skill. I believe she taught Noodle how to fetch. And that's pretty much it from what's high. Um, from a relationship standpoint, oh my gosh. So a few key people that you guys saw before. So see, here's Nathan. I don't know if I ever told you guys this and basically <laughs> so Nathan and Mentha were married and they had Dan Barry which there he is they had Dan Barry and they were not married I forgot so they're my friend Lisa's um from Cosmic Mermaid they're those are her sims and I forgot they weren't married and I said oh I'll get them married get them married and I slept on it and next thing I know MCC had its way and it married her off to some to like I think Eva moved her and Dan out in with Eva and then it married Nathan off to another woman who looked just like Mentha and I don't know if we ever met her if I can remember to find a picture I will try to kind of flash it on here and so I had to move them back oh and then it, so they they moved the girl into the house with Nathan so I kicked his butt out and moved him in with the woman and at first I was going to like reverse everything but as soon as it married him off to her she had gotten pregnant 
and because I had my settings on MCC so high, they had four kids. And so I was like, okay, I can't, <laughs> I can't do it now. So I left it alone. So I moved them into a new house. I moved Mentha and Dan back into their house. And then I divorced her from Eva because that's not how I want the story to go. Um, yeah, so that's what happened with that. But Nathan did die, so he has his four kids. And then Marja and Don, which was the Ebony Simmer, they um, they had a daughter. And it's Evangeline, if you remember. But they died, as you can see. So her friends are dropping like stinking flies. Um, Evangeline came to the party, so I don't know why I don't see her. Oh, there she is. So there goes Evangeline. So now she's living in the house. She's a young adult. I think her and Dan are young. Wait, are they? Uh, I don't know. I think they're both. Oh, there he is. Yeah, so they're both young adults. So, like, time has gone by so fast. Like, it's so crazy. Oh, speaking of time. So, Pepper is five freaking days away from being an elder. Like, y'all, I want to cheat so bad <laughs> and put her back to being an adult. But I'm trying to play the game the way it's supposed to be played. And I'm not going to do that. And I'm just going to leave it. But it is what it is. Um, inventory, she has a bunch of crap in here. She's not in any groups. But yeah, so that is Pepper. So Paulo, where's he at? Going to get some garlic noodles. So Paulo, I started paying him a little more attention because I realized I wasn't making any of his dreams come true. <laughs> so he is on level two of his aspiration, which is soulmate. So he did um, achieve smoke soulmate relationship with Pepper, and then they went on one date, and actually it was a stay-at-home date. It's kind of funny because the kids were home, and they didn't really get a babysitter, so they wanted to have them date at home. And so they had one silver. It was actually a gold, I think, but so he's do one more. He is doing really well. He's level eight of the mixologist career, so he's a chief drink operator, and he pretty much is ready for promotion right now, so... Um, he's off Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, so maybe when he goes to work tomorrow, he might get a promotion. Um, his skills, charisma, he needs that for work is pretty good. Cooking's pretty good. He likes to grill out a lot, so that's, that's how that got pretty high. Fitness, he's always getting energetic and working out. Um, mixology, obviously. Um, parenting, he's level five, so that's where he's at. He doesn't really have many friends. I mean, uh, Eric and Bob come over, so I mean that's pretty much it. But not much, as you can see, he doesn't really socialize much. But oh well. But yeah, so that is Paulo. So on to little Gen Three baby. Hold on, let me play to get him out of. Um, actually, I'll just let it play. See what they're doing. So this is little. Oh, actually, I'll show both of them. So where where you going, buddy? Oh, look at him. He's so good, y'all. When he wants to be, <laughs> and I'll tell y'all why I say that. But um, there. Okay, you have to pause because I don't know where you going. So this is little Rosewood. This is our Gen Two baby. And so I'll tell you about the rules for that one. So Gen Two. Is Rose. You have to complete the serial romantic aspiration. And y'all, this is going to hurt my heart. Like, yeah, it's difficult, you know, having a girl do it. But I don't know why I just really had a breakdown <laughs> when he came out first. Because I told myself, I said, whoever whoever comes out first with these twins is going to be Jan 2. And it was a boy. So that is going to be um, a chore. It really is. Then we have to master the politician career, master the charisma skill, and then um, leave someone at the altar, have one child, which is going to be difficult because he's a boy, so he physically can't have the child. So I'm still trying to figure out how this is actually going to work. We'll, we'll figure that out. <laughs> and then getting married for the first time as an elder. So that are the, those are the rules for Gen Two. So um, with my little baby, let me just I'm sorry, I'm just gonna put the walls down. So he got the so I do I have an app on my phone that's a random number generator and I just let it generate randomly for different things. And since I couldn't really pick the aspiration that 
I needed to because it's way too routine. I just did random. So he got social butterfly. But that makes sense because if you think about it, you know, with you know politician career, he has to, um, you know, talk to people. So that's going to be pretty good. And he has to make a best friend. So I was hoping that that was going to be his sister. Um, just go to work. I mean, work school. I, I have to go to school with mine, but I'm not going to go to school with them this time because this is just for an update. But, um, yeah, I, I'll, I'll, t- I'll tell you about that later. I'll finish this. So then he his A in school, um, homework completed. So for skills, because he maxed out social, I don't know how many of y'all know this, but as a child, different skills that you max open up the um the teen and up skills so because he maxed out social he started gaining charisma so that's good because as you saw from the progress um chart that's why he already has one towards maxing out the charisma skill because um he's already gotten it here so that's pretty exciting because that means um you know he has a head start like i think when you finish creativity if you max that out like on another game that i have you can start playing the piano and the violin. I don't know if you can do paint painting yet. But yeah, so different ones. Um, like I think mental lets you start learning the logic skills. So just a heads up if you didn't know that that's how that works. Um, so, okay, so here's... Okay, no. Yeah, okay. I, I'll tell you a story later. So as far as friends are concerned, he's friends with Hillary Pancake. So yes, this is Bob and Eliza's daughter. They actually have twins. So it's Hillary and Kayla are twins but he's really close to Hillary I believe she's the one that's in his class and I think Kayla is in Aubrey's class um but that's pretty much it from a friend standpoint like he's really not friends with anybody else so that'll be interesting to see you know what happens with little Hillary so we'll see and let's see what else Okay, so as you can see, he has two days left as a child. Um, I kind of want to play a little bit just to have some things to update you guys with. Um, so his manners is really good, but it's actually starting to go down. Um, his responsibility is awesome. Emotional control, empathy, a little bit low, and his conflict resolution is low. Um, because this is the only one available out of the three traits that they can have, which I believe it's supposed to be a snob, hot-headed, and... I know there's one more, but I'm not thinking of it. If I can remember, I'll put it up on the screen. And then he had a um, happy toddler life. So so that was pretty good. And then so we have Aubrey, little Aubrey. So random number generator, same thing. She got social butterflies. She has to make a BFF. She's also getting an A in school. Um, she actually was maintaining a c because i was only going to school with rosie so finally i started going to school with her and helping her out a little bit so now i kind of go back and forth like two days on two days off um from a skill perspective as well she has maxed out social so she's starting to get charisma she's a little bit higher i think than he is from creativity mental so um, i think she's she's doing better with some skills um as far as friends are concerned her relationships are a little bit, like she has more of a little bit of a relationship with people than Rosewood, Rosie has. And I think it's because he's hot headed um, and she is not. She's a slob. And then she's going through that stupid childhood bear phase. But I think she she hasn't turned in for a couple of days. But so she has a couple of people. So like a little relationship with Keon. She invited Riley over two days ago, I think from school um marshall's a little bit higher again you know i do so marshall lewis is the youngest i believe of eric which is you know her dad's best friend and alice lewis so um that's who he is and a little bit with bj hillary sam may so she kind of dibble dabbling with a lot of different people so she's it appears she's a little bit more social than than rosie is but that's okay and oh so what i was saying was if you look here that is rosie that's her brother and you can see that it is red y'all when i tell you they were best stinking friends like when i tell you 
they were best friends. They hugged each other like every single day. Why are you sitting outside, Noodle? Call him inside, please. Um, they were best friends. They hugged each other every single day. They would sit on the couch. And you, you saw the pictures that I sent you guys. Oh, not sent you. The um, posted in the beginning before I started. Um, up. Oh, hold on. It's test day and Aubrey is so nervous. She totally blanks. Even copying her neighbor won't work because her neighbor is a D student. What to do? Is that fiend? Fine. I mean, don't judge me. Illness or just take deep breaths. Uh, I think Aubrey would just take deep breaths. It says Aubrey tries to quell her anxiety by taking big deep breaths. And what do you know? It works. Sure, her classmates shoot her some funny looks, but when you're an A student, you have to take every test seriously. Okay, good. That worked out. Like I think, um. Rosie would have taken the other <laughs> the other route. But anyway, so um like I was saying, they were best friends and for some reason I know Rosie's hot headed, but she actually started insulting his fashion and like she got him riled up and next thing I know he's shouting forbidden words at her. He's stomping around the house and he's insulting her and it was downhill from then on. And this whole this whole relationship meter went from being high up here all the way down here. So I'm a little bit upset because at first I was like, oh my God, they about to be so close, brother, sister, so cute. And it was like in a matter of hours, everything just kind of went south. So I'm kind of upset about that, but it's whatever. Um, also, what is she doing? Where is she? Oh, she's reading. No, we need to get that. Oh, good. She got her... It's hard to talk and play at the same time. I'm sorry, y'all. So okay, she got her break through. We need to get this mischief up. This Alice. No, that's your friend's wife. We're not going <laughs> to. Oh, wait. No, we'll send her alone. Uh, we're updating. Oh, oh, I know. Let's do. Let's get some mischief up. Why can't we? Okay, what about her? Rude introduction. Who is that? Eliana Ellen is. Okay. Go, oh, she's going to work. Oh, duh, Brittany. I'm stupid. Okay, whatever. Um, Let's see. What does he need to do? He didn't need to do anything. But he needs... What's his charisma? Six. Okay, so the next level, I'm sure, is going to be seven. So just go practice something. But um, I don't even know what I was saying anymore. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So that went south. And lately, they have been so bad, y'all. Like... So Rosie kept getting online and trolling the forums. And so I punished him. I yelled at him. He did it again. So I punished him and said, no computer. Y'all, I did that three times and he kept getting back on the computer. Like each time he went back on the computer. So he had three of those little grounded things sitting here. And then I grounded him for no toys. He went and played with some toys and got caught by Pepper and got in trouble. Um, Aubrey, same thing. She, all three, I mean, both of them had no toys, no TV, and no computer. Aubrey came over here, sat right in front of her mama's face, and watched TV. So she got in trouble again. And then both of them um, started playing with toys. Aubrey did it twice. One time she even got up at 4 o'clock in the morning and started playing with toys. So they... I don't know what is going on. I have never, like, I played with children before with, with parenthood. And I've never had them break their grounding, like, so much. So, they're going through. Um, I'm a little bit scared because they're going to be teens in two days. And I just don't know what they're going to do and what they're going to act like. But let me make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it from a update. So let me just go ahead and fast forward until they get home from school. All right, so the kids are coming home from school and they got this pop-up that Aubrey wants to invite over Kiara. That is fine. She also met this girl named Kayla. I think that's it, yeah. All right, so who is that? Kayla? Oh, that's Kiara. Oh, okay. Kiara Wright. Oh, this is one of the was it quadruplets from um Mentha's from Nathan from Nathan. 
yeah. All right, why are they so tense? Oh, he's still grounded. Wait, is she grounded too? Oh, no. She's had a stressful day. So, yeah, he's still grounded for no computer from trolling a forum. So, he pissed. Y'all, having this hot-headed trait, like, as a kid, he's just a hot, stinking mess. He keeps watching. Why? What are you doing? I don't know. So, I try to let them kind of do what they want to do. Um, you, Where's your friend? Oh, well, Kiara's out here cleaning. Yeah, I try to let them do what they want to do. So, she wants to chat with her dad real quick. So... Well, he's almost leveled up, so I'm going to leave him. She wants to watch TV. She's not grounded, so how about let's wait. <clears throat> let's add to group, and then why don't y'all? So Aubrey has been having this thing where watch tv together first she started watching world culture network for like two days then it was kids network and then then it was simder so let's see i don't know what she watching now what is this world culture network romance sports so this must be simder because kids network is there <laughs> And world, yeah. So this this is Simder. So yeah, I don't know where she gets this from. But yeah, so you can watch some TV. Her tent is going down from a stressful day at school. And this boy is just sitting here looking crazy. Do something. Do your homework. He wants to play a video or win a game. But no, you can just go ahead and do your homework now. Since you can't get on the computer. Just do your homework. What are they doing? <laughs> They're just the cutest thing, y'all. But I can't wait to age them up into um into teens. And what I'll do is, so if you don't follow me, it's Melanin since 2000, the same name on Instagram. So most likely when they age up, um, I'll post pictures on there. Uh oh, what's going on? I'll post some pictures on there. So definitely get on there and take a look. And so, so they're just talking. Okay, he reached level seven. So okay, so you're good. So you're probably good for next one. Okay, so he wants to chat with Aubrey. So even though her friend is here, let's just sit down. Uh, what is happening? Be act. Oh, that whole advice thing. And she's a hugger, y'all. Like Aubrey, why you gotta go in the bathroom to ask advice? But Aubrey is a hugger. Like she likes to hug everybody. I was thinking about one of my favorite toys and can't find it. I'm starting to miss it and I feel sad. Keep looking for it or play with a different toy. I feel like like yesterday it's the same toy, but she only been looking for it for about a day and a half. So I'm going to tell her to keep looking for it. So responsibility increases and emotional control decreases. Okay. Whatever. But she doesn't want to chat. Wait. Uh, young lady. Over there shouting forbidden words. Uh-uh. Discipline. Uh, he's calm. Ask to not shout forbidden words. He don't punish. Only Pepper punishes. Oh, he got level six. Paula can now make other parents feel better when parenthood gets tough. When caring for babies, Paula can now see what the, his baby needs. Well, he ain't having no more babies, so that's not going to be a problem. Be friendly with Aubrey. All right. So let's ask about her day. See how school was. She doesn't do her homework. So Rosewood's done with his homework. What does he want to do? Okay, he wants to chat with dad too. So I guess dad, after you're done, check on your son. Your little mini me. And ask him about his day. Is he watching TV and talking to her? Culinary training. Oh, who turned the channel? What is... What is going on? Oh, no. Why is his face? Oh, the bed's in the <laughs> he's in the wall. <laughs> Oops. I think he's going to ask him about his day. Does that count? Lord, see, look. Look, y'all. Now he about to tease her about her grace. She got an A, Rosie. She has an A just like you. See? See? 
And this is why they don't like each other. Did she like that? This is exactly why they don't like each other. Because he over here causing problems. Bad boy about aliens. Shout, girl, don't you do it. Look at her face. Yo, they have a foul stinking mouth. What is, wait, did I ever, what does hers look like? Manner, responsibility, conflict, empathy. So they're the same in everything except no. No. We do not do that. Calmly ask her not to shout forbidden words again. If you do it again, when your mama get home, you're getting punished again. Why, y'all, did y'all just see that? He just went into the floor. It's almost their birthday. I know. Oh, my God. They're just so rude. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm scared. All right. So, he's talking about toys. I don't know. Look at her. You need to go do something. What do you want to go do? Take a mud bath. No, no child take no mud bath. Oh wait, did she do the homework yet? No. Go oh y'all look. This is her project. <laughs> this is what it looks like, okay? Quality poor because she's a slob and she did it very sloppily and it don't look like nothing. Let's compare. So that is hers. And this is the one that Rosie did. He did his very carefully. So, yeah. Why is it still in there? When they go to school, it should, like, take these out. I don't know. Go do, go do your homework. Okay? Go do your homework. He wants to finish extra credit, meet someone new. Have you met Kira? Yeah. So that don't count. And he wants to win a multiplayer game. Well, you did your homework. So, even though you're not allowed on a computer because you over there trolling the forums, you can play a game with Kiera. Even though Arby invited her over. But she got homework to do. So, go play. Oh, look. That is so cool. And he want what does he want to do? He wants to win a multiplayer case. Okay, he wants to win. I wonder, I hope he wins. That's so cool. So they're still playing the game. And Paolo came over here to help her homework. Why she's sitting on the floor, I don't know. What is all of this that y'all are putting on this board? If he views it, does it do anything? Like, who left these notes? It don't look like it does anything. He's just looking at it. This random crap. Can I remove it? Look at drawing. Clear bulletin board. Clear it. Oh, and we have the curfew set for 7 p.m. So, they kids. I make it 9 o'clock when they become teenagers. Only for the weekday. They can stay out later on the weekends. He wants to gain parenting and hug someone. We can do that later. So he he looks like he only playing this game for a while. So I'm probably gonna fast forward, and then she's almost done with her homework. Okay, so Aubrey finished her homework. Is he? I know he ain't filthy. No. Oh yeah. So for those who have um cats and dogs, Noodle is scared of the TV, and that's what that means. And, like, I'm surprised he's not shaking. Typically, he sits there and he is, like, shaking. Oh, there he go. There he goes, y'all. Like, he is shaking in his thinking boot. So, we'll try to calm him down. So, calm down, Noodle. I don't know why he won't just walk away. Alice is wondering if I want to go over to her house and hang out. Who is she talking to? Um. No. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. We'll go for a little bit. Um, Rose, oh wait, no. Let's bring Kiara. We'll just say, hey, I got company, but we can come over. 
So Paula will drop them off at their house. All right, so we're at the Kim Lewis house. Does he even know her? No. So let's just do a friendly introduction. So are the kids home? Because the kids are not home, then we're going home. Eric is home. Why she invite us over if none of the kids are home? It's 630. Where are they at? Wait, maybe they're upstairs. Oh, okay. Wait, who is Crystal? How many kids are it? I'm confused. How many kids do they have? Oh, well, Crystal's home. And I think... Who's really close to Krista? Okay, so it's him. So he's close to Krista. Look, y'all. Olivia's home. Y'all, this is like the prettiest Olivia. Okay, not with that face, but <laughs> the prettiest Olivia Kim Lewis that I've seen. Of course, I, you know, I did her up, but still, like, she's just so pretty to me. Look. And then she just pretty. I love her. But anyway, so... Let's, can we add to the group? Form group. So make, oh, Crystal and Marshall, they're twin. Oh, okay, so they have twins, but where is Marshall? Where is Marshall? What is happening? What is all this? What are you doing, child? Child? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What are you doing? Get out of there. Oh, they're breaking curfew. Oh, she's so nasty. That's because she has slop and now she's shouting forbidden words. You're just so nasty. Y'all have to go home. It ain't Friday. Oh, my. Oh, wait. There goes the other kid. Is this Marshall? Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, y'all. So. I think I'm going to go ahead and just end this part. This was basically just to give you guys an update on where I'm at. Um, it was just getting, it wasn't, it, it was starting to not be fun basically because every little time I wanted to just play the game, had to worry about recording and that's why I wasn't recording because I really didn't either have time or like I didn't have the space to, you know, record in quiet. Um, so I think just for my sake, I'm just going to go ahead and do these little update recordings. What is she doing? Like, make fun of Moo. I can't take you nowhere. Nowhere. And he over here eating other people's food. Why is he losing responsibility? Yo, these kids going to be so bad, y'all. These are. But, um... But yeah, so it's like I said, if you follow my Instagram, that is where you'll see more kind of updates as we go and just different pictures of what they're doing in between updates. But these updates will be just to kind of get you up to speed on what is going on. What is she doing now? I can't trust her. I really can't. I don't know. But anyway, all right, well, let me go before they do something else. They're going to continue just to play with their friends a little bit. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Good. Good.